Hey YouTube, I'm a V-King here with another quick video update for you. And before we get started today, I would kindly appreciate if you hit that subscribe button down below and be sure to give this video a thumbs up. So you guys wanted a update video on the Star of David coil. Here it is. Alright, so here we have our coil here. And now I have my voltmeter. Alright, so now I'm going to take my two leads here, I'm going to hook it up to my coil. Alright, and now you'll notice my ohms. Alright, make sure I got a good connection here. Did I have the connection off? It was lower. There it goes. 6.4, 6.5 ohms. So it's not that many turns, uh, 10 turns per point. Now what I'm going to do, turn that on, so that way we can see. I'm going to turn the voltage setting on. Uh, I'll set this here for a ramp. If it works, better work. Uh -huh. Alright, so here we go. We're going to take... This right here, we don't want to break the connection. So this is just a prototype design, and as you can tell, I'm generating voltage. Right? So that's pretty awesome. Alright, now we're going to test the amperage. Might not have much for amps since I'm not using really any iron just yet. No, just generating very little amps yep very little alright so scratch that we are producing some power here this right here I can get it if I get it at the right angle ah, shit ah. okay that's not enough Okay, so if I lay it down like this, I can get up to roughly 100 milliamps. That's not bad with only six turns. There it goes, see? There's 100 milliamps right there. Frequency. Oh, there we go. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. So, about 2 hertz frequency. Can't move my arm that fast, but we are producing power. But now, I know you guys want to see how the pentagram coil responds, right? <laughs> sure you do. So, I'll hook this up real quick. Alright, so I have the wires hooked up here, and as you can tell, I'm pulling about 5.96 ohms, which is very good. Now we're going to turn this thing to the voltage setting, and we're going to see just how much power this one generates compared to the Star of David coil, right? So, technically, this one is got yeah, less ohms, so less wire. <laughs> All right. There it goes. All right, let's test the amps. Jeez. Connection broke loose. Hold on. That's weird that I did that. Like sometimes when I turn a setting, it's like my wire will come off the thing. Alright, here we go. Come on. Okay. That ain't working. The amps aren't very high. Hang on, maybe it's just a connection issue. Alright, so check this out. This is what's really interesting. Frequency's higher than before with the other coil. I can feel some sort of, like, tension on the, uh... Something like trying to pull on the magnet as I'm trying to send it through there. Which is also very different, I find. Okay, 
So now we're going to put these two coils together and see what we produce with that. And then for the next video, I'm just going to have to layer it up with more layers of coil to make it work more, more efficiently. All right, so first I'm going to wire this one up in uh, series with the other one. Cool. So I have them, uh, I have them wired together here. And, well, we got 12 ohms right on the dot. <laughs> How funny is that, right? 12 ohms. All right, and now for the voltage doubling effect. Look at that. So if you put them in series and have the oscillations working properly, you can get easy voltage gain. Now for amperage, let's see how many amps we pull here. It's not much. Let's see. Let's see what's going on here. I definitely feel something happening. Okay. So amperage gain is very low, voltage gain is very easy. Then I decided to build something a little bit niftier when it comes to the oscillations. Now this produces a 20 kilohertz frequency and it actually is the same design. As you can tell, it's just a bigger diameter. So what I decided to do was use four AA batteries, uh, 1.2 volts each equaling uh, uh, what is that? 4.8 volts altogether. So I have 4.8 volts right here. Right? Now you don't see any power when I turn it on. But that's fine. The gas just doesn't have enough voltage. So we need to give it voltage. First we're going to get to make the ground resonate with itself. Right? So, and then when I turn this on, Hopefully this works. Let's pull the batteries died. I hope they didn't die. 